very good evening to all my colleagues in India. And first, let me thank President Indian Sepak Takro Federation, Mr. Prem Raj, with us today, and the Secretary General, Mr. Yogin Singh, who also my Vice President from Asian Sepak Takro Federation, in which Prem Raj is the Vice President for his staff. Thank you very much for giving me opportunity to speak to all of you uh, this afternoon. I'm sure uh, my colleagues from uh, Nepal, Bangladesh, Swiss, France, and also uh, Philippines was part of this uh, training course for the first time. We organized the Sepak Takro Basic Training Course Level 1, in which I think India is the first one who doing this. And I'm very happy indeed because the Asian Sepak Takro Federation will endorse this training course while India have 864 coaches today with us. I hope all of them are joining now. And this will give opportunity to all the Indian national Sepak Takro coaches. I hope the Frame and Yogi Bai will agree to give you all the certification of Indian Sepak Takro Federations coaching course level one theory with Asian Sepak Takro Federation will endorse. And I and my team will endorse your certificate. You will see Sepak Takro logo and with all the signature. Number one. Why I say this is it's important that all these participants, all these participants will receive the certificates and they will be allowed to participate in the SEPA TACRO certification level one by Asian Federation. It's the first time that uh, I'm going to implement the Asian Sepak Takro Coaching License Level 1. Mean, you must join this course, then you must join the practical course that conducted by Indian Sepak Takro, how they will do, will do it, I leave it to Yogi Bai and Prem, how they want to do it. They want to do it after the COVID-19, then they can do it. Uh, then after they got level one practical from Indian Sepak Takro Federation, then we will grant them the level one of coaching certification of India. All who are going to participate in the AF or Asian Federation Sepak Takro coaching course, they must have level one national from India especially when they take this course. I'm, not, I'm prepared to give Indian Federation Takro uh, more license for the Asian Federation. What does it mean more license? If you can have more people from India for the first time be a licensed coaches from Asian Takro Federation mean a big thing for India. It's a big thing. Number one. Then we will start the Asian level SEPAK Takro license after the COVID 19. I'm very happy that during this COVID 19, even though in India it's a lockdown, every country is locked down. Singapore, while well, we are locked down, but we still can move around going by food, 
go and do exercise outside uh, at the present moment, Singapore. Now, for you all, now during this period, participate in this coaching course. It really give you some moral, some moral booster, and you all are not only sleep at home or be boring at home. So therefore, uh, Asian Sepak Takro Federation has told all the country, including America, Europe, Spain, uh, Italy, uh, uh, Belgium, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Pakistan, Philippines, proceed, go and organize online basic Sepak Takro coaches, organize coaches seminar and this will give opportunity i'm going to start next three weeks uh sepa takro referee course sepa takro referee course i will work with Rembrandt and yogi to organize online sepa takro national uh level this is another area i think will give opportunity to India to do the theory first because for referee you need the theory then the practical we can assign you all. All of you aware that Sepak Takro now moving towards Olympic. When I pray to God, to Allah, that Sepak Takro will be in the Olympic especially when Thailand become host country in 2026, Thailand might be host for Youth Olympic if IOC grant them the host right. What happened if Thailand be the host for IOC Youth Olympic game. I sure Asian Spartacro Federation and International Spartacro Federations working closely with the Thailand Spartacro Federation together with the Thai government and Thailand Olympic Committee try to include Spartacro for under 17 youth so therefore we need to prepare from now good coaches you train younger player you get opportunity to go to olympic if ioc accepted i'm confident that this can be happened but we must follow the regulations of the oc and the organizing it's a good news so Yogi Bai and Brim must start preparing your young players. I will visit New Delhi after the COVID-19, meet your sports minister, meet your president, uh, Indian Olympic Committee, meet Brim Raj, discuss with Yogi Bai. And I know Yogi Bai, your secretary general and your president, uh, among the best sport administrators so far who have given your people, your player, your official, your referee, your coaches, fair play, fair in everything. I always, as an Indian as well, I always support Indian Civil Federation as well, the entire uh, federations in the world. Asian. That is the point that I want to deliver. And I'm happy to inform you that Sepa Takro Hoop will be in the Indo martial art game. It will be in May 2021 in Thailand. And we wish that OCA will support Sepa Takro and to be in the Indo Asian game in which Thailand be the host 
in May 2021. And certainly, we were followed. We will follow the rule regulations of Olympic Council of Asia under the leadership of His Excellency Sheikh Ahmad Fad Al Sabah, with the Director General Usin Musalam, as well the Director for Asian Game, Mr. Haider Farman. We are apologize in case we do some way some mistakes, but certainly as the President of Asian. I would like to ensure you that Asian Sepak Takraw Federation will follow the regulations of OCA, Asian Game. So for you, the coaches, the sport administrator, not easy. Uh, we need to build up a good relations, friendships to the International Olympic Committee, to aliens, the national uh, Sport Federation AIM, in which based in headquarters, uh, is up one of the member of AIM, and we will continue pray for the long life, all of us, including the Sheikh Ahmad Fad Al Sabah and the team of OCA. Depot. With that note, I wish all of you uh, be uh, ancient for this training course. And this training course, one of the best that we can do during COVID-19, stay at home, follow the regulation of your country, don't break the rule, don't be arrested. I'm always told my colleagues, President and Secretary General of the Asian Sepak Takro and his staff, on behalf of General Charo Arila Chakaran and Bunchai Lopipat, the Deputy President, as well, Dr. Ahmad Ajit Ismail, as a Deputy President of ASTAF, Professor Chalam Charawatpong, Vice President of ASTAF, and uh, my dear colleagues, Azad Sobra, Deputy President ISTAF, who also President of Iran to give us all their support to ensure that no player, no official, no referee, no coach being arrested during this COVID-19 for breaking the law. With the name of Hawa Subhanahu let us make sure all the preparation for running this training course for nearly about 900 uh, coaches in India and the region be a success. Thank you to Prem Raj, President of Indian Sepak Takro, and also uh, Yogi Bai, Secretary uh, General of India, and my colleague Gurung from Nepal, my Vice President. Thank you very much for participating. And I wish India in the good health and all of us will meet very soon, inshallah. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot. Welcome all of you as a Secretary General of the Sepak Federation of India, and especially I warm welcome and thanks to Dato Abdul Halim bin Qadir, President Asian Sepak Federation, who have addressed us with our special request. And during this COVID-19 time, we are not able to make our activity continue and everybody are sitting in the homes due to this COVID-19. And I especially thanks to the Sports Ministry of India and especially the Sports Minister Kiran Rejuju who will take initiative to start this online courses. And on his direction, the Sports Authority of India will take initiative and direct us to run this workshop. Not only the Sepectagra, the all other games are also running the same workshop, online workshop uh, during this COVID-19 time. So I hope very soon we are going to uh, make all normal and we are going to win against this COVID-19. And very soon we are returned to our grounds, our camps, our tournaments. And we are meet each of you, even in India and outside our international friends. So I hope very soon and in the meantime we are going to 
busy you with your spectacular sports through this online coaching course so i welcome all all the coaches across from india and the international players and national players who are also participating and i also welcome our south asian countries friends who are also request us to join this and they are watching this also so i wish all of you to learn from here and make implement in grounds and it will be helpful for your knowledge and it is also helpful for our great country india so make performance more better in the spectacular game so thank you very much each and everything and special thank to our dr sr premraj president of spectacular federation so thank you each and everyone so thank you now we transfer to the start today topic according to the and we are directing you to the today lecture mr hemraj national coach spectacra india good afternoon everybody screen share screen share गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी सबसे पहले मैं आपको थोड़ा दिखाना चाहूंगा कि हमारे स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्टर श्री किरण रिजिजू जी मिनिस्टर ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ये आप पिक देख रहे हैं हेलो टू ऑल हु आर जॉइनिंग अस आई एम आई एम एक्सट्रीमली थैंकफुल टू ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स श्री किरण रिजिजू जी इनिशिएटिंग दिस ऑनलाइन development program for coaches and allow me to participate launching such a program amidst the person scenario due to covid 19 is a press work three step which will be very helpful to promote and support the sport development in the country this initiative also shows the strong commitment government towards the development of program i thank you once again give us this wonderful opportunity to share our experience jai hind before start uh, i would like to uh, see the a video about the spectacular wait a minute yeah please see
welcome all very good afternoon everybody sepetakra presentation sepetakra presentation uh, by stfi Sepak takra is a sport native with a Southeast Asia. Sepak takra differ from the similar sport of football in its use a bat and ball and only allowing players to use their feet, knee, chest, and head to touch the ball. Now, history of sepak takra. it's a kingly origins and it's a practical adaptability sepak raga was the name of an ancient game played in the malay state and the neighboring countries like laos vietnam thailand indonesia philippines and myanmar the word raga refers to the rattan ball used in the game which involves players standing in a circle while keeping the ball in the air with not just their feet but also various other part of the body except the hands i speak in hindi jo log hindi mein sunna chahenge jo eh khel ek malaysia se prachalit hua tha jahan par malay state thi jo uske sath sath ne bring countries bhi jo khelte the usme laos vietnam thailand indonesia philippines and other द वर्ड ऑफ रागा रागा जो वर्ड है रेफर्स टू रेटन बॉल बॉल जो है उसको रागा कहा जाता था यूज इन गेम विच इन वॉल्स प्लेयर स्टैंडिंग इन द सर्कल वाइल कीपिंग द बॉल इन एयर देर इज एविडेंस टू सजेस्ट दैट द गेम वॉज प्लेड इन मलाका इन द फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी और इट्स मैंशन इन द शाहजहा मलाउ हाउ एवर in living memories it was still possible to see the game played not only in the rural area but also in the urban areas especially in areas where the malay population was quite large this there was suggested that game had not totally disappeared since the fall of malacca sultan सेपक तकरा खेल जो है फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी के अंदर मले स्टेट में खेला जाता था जहां पर रूरल एरिया और जो अर्बन एरिया है उसमें भी इसको अधिक से अधिक खेला जाता था जहां पर मले पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा संख्या में थे तो इस गेम को वो खेला करते थे ए ग्रुप ऑफ वर्कर्स यूज टू प्ले दिस गेम एज ए रिक्रेशन ड्यूरिंग द lunch break by just kicking in into the air and maximum time without any net and other specified rules people start like this the game a group of workers jo log wahan par kaam karte the to is khel ko wo khelne ke liye apne lunch time mein ya recreational time mein jaise hi unko time milta tha to wo log ball ko khelte the hawa mein pair se khelte the uchalte the maximum time jitni der tak wo usko ball ko control kar sakte the gradually it's a spread like a jungle fire across indonesia we khel uh, malacca se aake fir india indonesia mein aaya indonesia se aane ke baad dheere dheere ye ek pic hai hamare paas jis tarah se uh, apne time mein jaise khelte the uh, jaise recreational time ke andar apna time pass karne ke liye lunch time mein to is tarah se ek circle formation kar dete the और इस गेम को जितना पॉसिबल हो इतना ऊपर हवा में उछाल के रखते थे नेट वर्जन जैसे पहले मैंने आपको बताया था कि खेल जो है बॉल को हवा में उछाल के रखते थे तो नेट वर्जन ऑफ द गेम वाज स्प्रेड अक्रॉस साउथ ईस्ट एशिया फॉर्मल रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन वर फॉर्म फॉर द गेम The first official sepak takra competition was 
held at swim club on May 16, 1945 in Penang. Net version is in Southeast Asia and its formal rules and celebrations were the first time. The uh, first jo iska international sapatra, ka, jo first official competition was uh, May 16, 1945. जो कि स्विम क्लब के अंदर पेनांग पेनांग मलेशिया का शहर है वहां पर हुआ था वेयर टीम्स मोस्टली फ्रॉम वेरियस विलेजेस ऑफ पेनांग पार्टिसिपेटेड इन इट बहुत वहां पर विभिन्न प्रकार अलग-अलग गांव से टीम्स ने पार्टिसिपेट किया था ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड द गेम यूज्ड टू बी कॉल्ड सेपक रगजरिंग पहले जो इसको मैंने बताया था भी जो एक गेम पहले सेपक रागा के नाम से जाना गया जाना जाता था तो जो इस जब इसका नेट वर्जन आया तो इट्स यूज्ड टू बी कॉल्ड सेपक रागा जारिंग जारिंग मींस नेट तो सेपक रागा जारिंग के नाम से जाना जाने लगा स्लोली द गेम स्प्रेड अक्रॉस साउथ ईस्ट एशिया अराउंड 1950स धीरे-धीरे यह खेल एशिया के अंदर साउथ ईस्ट एशिया से एशिया के अंदर पूरा एशिया में फैल गया 1950 में, it was played in almost every school. 1950s यह खेल जो है साउथ ईस्ट एशिया के सभी स्कूलों में खेल जाने लगा। नेट वर्जन का मैंने एक बताया था आपको, जैसे कि आपको पिक में भी दिखाई देता। You can see in the pic of net version. In 1960s Malaysian Sepak Raga Federation was formed at Penang in 1965. It was included in Southeast Asia Peninsular Games. Malaysian Sepak Raga Federation ka jo uh, gathan hua tha, wo Penang mein 1965 mein. It was included in Southeast Asian Peninsular Games. So Southeast Asia ke jo Peninsular Games hue the, usme isme Sepak Raga Federation of Malaysia ka gathan hua tha. It was then uh, formally named uh, the Sepak Chakra in 1965. The Asian Sepak Chakra Federation staff, Asian Sepak Chakra Federation staff, short name ASTF, staff was formed as the as the governing committee of the sports in 1992. 1965, uh, Asian Sepak Chakra Federation. Kajo Gatanwata was formed as governing committee of the sports in 19. Then in 1992, the International Sepak Chakra Federation, short form ISTF, was formed as a world governing body of the game. 1965 Kiva, 1992 May, International Sepak Chakra Federation, the form was a so governing body game, game Kelly Baniti, or 1992 May. The Sepak Chakra game was included first time in 9th Asian Games 92 at New Delhi as exhibition sports. Sepak Chakra Khel, jo Asian Khel thi history mein jo pehli baar isko jab include kiya gaya tha, to as a exhibition sports ke roop mein ise, uh, during the 9th Asian Games jo Delhi mein huye the, us mein ise uh, samil kiya gaya tha. Since Uske baad, 11th Asian Games, the historical uh, 11th Asian Games, 1990, Beijing Sepak Chakra, regular event in Asian Games. Since 11th Asian Games, which uh, Beijing in the Sepak Chakra is a regular event in the Asian Games. And the uh, second Asian Sepak Chakra Championship held in the month of September 1982 in Singapore with amendment in rules and regulations. During the second Asian Sepak Chakra Championship in the month of September in 1982 in Singapore, there is an amendment in rules and regulations. Uh, second Asian Sepak Chakra Championship ke doran, uh, September month 1982 mein Singapore mein rules or regulations ka amendment kiya gaya tha. Malaysia has taken the initiative to perform Sepak Chakra exhibition in the month of November 1982 in India, New Delhi. Uh, Malaysia has initiative to perform in India. Uh, during the 9th Asian Games, 
and other cities of Nagpur and Bombay. First international seminar and empowering course was held in May 1983 in Singapore during 12th Sea Games, short name, Southeast Asian Games. Uh, first international seminar of empowering course was held in 1983, which was the first seminar of empowering course in 1983 in Singapore. During 12th Southeast Asian Games, ESTA, Asian Separate Takras Federation, was published. It's a third book that contained working papers and other important umpiring documents and literature during the course of the upgrade and the integrate the standard and performance of umpiring system, the concerns. Separate Takra developments towards and uh, of an international ESTA recognized umpire in 1983 in the month of October. Malaysia team exhibition in Tokyo conjunction with the World Sports Fair. Uh, yeah, Mary, uh, International Separate Tractor Federation Council members from 2018 to 2021. Uh, President uh, Major General Charuk from Thailand and uh, Secretary General uh, Dato Abdul Halim Kader from Singapore. Or it's me, Mary, India say Assistant Secretary General Joki Yoginda Singh Dayaji. He is also Secretary General of Sepatra Federation of India, or uh, another respected member in, in your screens. ESTA, Asian Sepatra Federation, uh, from 2016 to 2020. The President, uh, Dato Abdul Halim bin Kader BBM from Singapore, and the uh, Secretary General. Uh, Mr. Bunchai Raipot from Thailand and uh, Isme uh, Hamare Secretary uh, General uh, Bunchai Raipot and uh, see Isme Yogendra Singh Dayaji Joke Secretary General and Ube Vice President is me. Uh, participating countries, though Sepak Takra is quite popular in Southeast, Southeast Asian countries, its a popularity is a, also spreading in other parts of the world, including Asian, European, as well as American countries and Canada also. The game has experienced widespread popularity. Some of countries where Sepak Takra is quite popular of Emerging as one of the popular game are Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Korea, China, Japan, India, Philippines, Brunei, Myanmar, Singapore, etc. etc. Sepak Takra was popular in the Southeast Asia, Southeast countries, and in the Southeast Asian countries, it was popular in the Southeast Asian countries, and it was popular in the Southeast Asian, European, or American countries, or Canada, can there be popular? Uh, now, Sepak Tatra in India. In July 1982, Nagpur Sharik Shikshan Mahavidale, Nagpur, NSSM. The large number of sports person and lovers of lovers of India witness the historical moment, the formation of Sepak Takra Federation of India, short form SPFI, under the chairmanship of late S. W. Dhabe, member of parliament that time. Uh, July 1982, Nagpur Sharik Chikshan Nagpur mein hai, NSSM short name hai. Uh, par ek sports lover and uh, is baat ka gawa bane ki uh, Bharat mein jo Sepak Takra Federation of India ka gathan hua 1982 July ke andar 
in the chairmanship of late SW Dhabi. In the meeting, late SW Dhabi and Shri M. Salim Beg were unanimously elected as the president and secretary general, respectively. When we were meeting, uh, SW Dhabi and Shri M. Salim Beg were unanimously elected as the president and secretary general. Petition took uh, initiative to organize Sapat Takra exhibition match was held at Dr. Colonel Singh Stadium, Railway Stadium, Nai Delhi on 23rd November 1982. After the formation of Sapat Takra Federation, Federation took uh, Federation ne initiative liya to organize Sapat Takra exhibition match was held at during the ninth Asian Games. Ninth Asian Games, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and, uh, and Philippines, the host and the host of Indian team. The past team, the exhibition match, the participant, the host of 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 the host the the who represented our country for the first time at international level. During that time, uh, uh, Mr. Brejabadhu, uh, Mr. Rameshwar from Manipur and Mr. Kavishwar and Mr. Yogendra Pandey from Maharashtra. These four players were the first time at uh, international level. Pe participate kiya tha. The stadium was overcrowded and uh, everyone was charmed by Watching the beauty, stadium full khacha khach bhara hua tha. Har koi dekhna chaha tha ki is khel ko dekhne ke like acrobatic volleyball and the skillful display of sapat takra. Late Mrs. Indira Gandhi, the Prime Minister of India that time, inaugurated the demonstration match. Us samay ke hamari Pradhan Mantri Shri Mati Indira Gandhi, jo ki wahan Pradhan Mantri thi hamari. Uh, on demonstration match ka udhatan kiya tha. On her public address, she asked to encourage the traditional Malaysian food tak, sepak takra in India. Unho ne apne uh, public address jab unho ne apna jab bhashan diya to, unho ne kaha tha ki sepak takra khel ko bharat bharat ke andar, jo ki Malaysia se aaya hai, uh, Esther Bruthabe ji Malaysia se khel ko sepak takra mila hai, is khel ko uh, bohat prachar prasar karna chahiye. Uske uh, Lok Sabha Speaker, Mr. Lakshman, felicitated and presented the souvenir to the demonstration team. Uh, so demonstration team thi, the countries who participated in the visiting team, thi, unko Lok Sabha Speaker of Sameke, Mr. Lakshman, the only felicitated kiya and the unko souvenirs pardan ki. The visiting teams under the Asian Sapat Takra Federation held the demonstration match at Nagpur and Bombay. The visiting team thi, uh, under the Asian Sapak Takra Federation had uh, a demonstration match in Nagpur, Delhi ke saath saath, Nagpur and Bombay. Mein bhi. Under the initiative of Sapak Takra Federation, India organized. Sapak Takra Federation ne, uh, organized the first national coaching com seminar on 10th to 20 November 1983 at Nagpur Sharik Shikshan Mahavidale, Nagpur. Nagpur Sharik Shikshan Mahavidale, NSSM, Johe, Wahapur, first, first national coaching come seminar uh, organized Kiata, Joki Sapat Takra Federation of India Nikiata, in the month of um, 1983. After few months, few months later, SKF, I also organized. First Sapak Takra National Championship from 3 to 5 February at the same venue in which 10 teams from 9 states took part. Same venue, pe hi, uh, first Sapak Takra National Championship 1984 may organized ki thi, uh, jisme dust team participate kiya tha from 9 states, uh, no states say, 10 team may participate kiya tha. West Bengal team was the winner, Madhya Pradesh second and uh, Manipur to third place. Ek ye historical pitch hai hamare paas. Uh, isme aap dikhai, uh, dekh sakte hai pitch ke andar. 
uh, late Mrs. Indira Gandhi, uh, Prime Minister of uh, India, 1982, of taking introducing with the Sepak Takra players at Karnal Singh Stadium. The historical pick is our pass. You can see it. उस समय की हमारी प्रधानमंत्री श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी सभी खिलाड़ियों से परिचय प्राप्त करती हैं। पार्टिसिपेशन एट इंटरनेशनल इंडियन टीम का जो पार्टिसिपेशन है इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे First Asian Inter Regu Sepak Takra Championship at Stadium Nagara Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia from 12 to 15 July 1984. Indian team participated with 12 members. The first international participation was uh, India ka jo Asian Inter Regu Sepak Takra Championship in Kuala Lumpur. Mein hoye the. 12 to 15 July 1984. Indian team participated with the 12 members, which was the chief redemission Mr. Kolapur and uh, manager Mr. Salim Beg and uh, Mr. Dor Dorendra, coach come player, and uh, Mr. Joseph Rai, Mr. Vinod, and seven players, namely Jilsana, Amarnath Thakur, Suresh, Farooq, Jitendra, and other two. Uh, one from Bengal and one from Maharashtra. Uh, from Bengal, Mr. Sopkinil, and uh, from uh, Maharashtra, YS Panditji. Uh, during this championship, uh, Indian officials attended the first staff coaching seminar from 11 to 15 July 1984. Usi championship ke dauran, Bharatiya jo humare officials gai the, unhone first international Takra federation coaching seminar attend kiya tha 11 se 15 july 1984 after championship indian team exhibition match at penang malaysia and singapore coaching seminar ke baad bharatiya team ne uh, un teamon ke sath milkar uh, exhibition match uh, organize kiye the wahan ki teamon ne penang malaysia aur singapore ke liye First World Cup. The Indian team participated in the second MS Cup, Joki, 4th September 1986, and the first World Cup from 5 June to 1988. The first uh, jo participation was uh, 4th September, uh, Joki, 1986, World Cup, uh, 5 December, or Unisho Atasi. King's Cup, Sepak Takra World Championship. Indian Sepak Takra team first time participated in 6th Kings Cup from 6 to 9 December 1989 at Bangkok. Uh, Bangkok mein jo 6th Kings Cup Sepak Takra World Championship hui thi. Bharatiya team ne wahan par first time participated kiya tha. To uh, jahan par uh, Bharatiya team ne gold medal, praap, uh, silver medal prap kiya tha aur gold medal China ne prap kiya tha. It was a proud moment for Indian team because India got first ever medal in the King's Cup. King's Cup में जो पहली बारी भारत ने participate किया था, तो उस समय भारत ने जो silver medal प्राप्त किया था, वो बहुत ही proud moment था भारत के लिए, जिसमें participate किया था भारतीय team के जो नाम थे इस प्रकार से थे, Mr. Mangi Chand, Mr. Uma Kanta, Mr. Kesho and Mr. Jogindro. चार ये नाम थे हमारे जो जिन्होंने participate किया था. Till now. India is participating in every King's Cup Sepak Takra World Championship in different parts of Thailand and scoring gold, silver, bronze medals. 1986 se during the 6th King's Cup se leke, or till now 34th King's Cup. Continue Indian team ne participate kiya isme hai aur last jo humara 34th King's Cup hua tha isme mention nahi hai. Usme Bharatiya team ne Rego went with gold medal prapiata, or separately thirty third to Kings Cup Wata, Usmebi, Parapne, team went with gold medal prapiata. One more in the seventeenth Kings Cup from eight to twelve April two thousand two, Indian women team won gold medal in Rego event. 
जो सेवनटीन किंग्स सब आठ से बारह अप्रैल 2002 से हुआ था थाईलैंड में ही उसमें फर्स्ट टाइम इंडियन वुमेन टीम ने गोल्ड मेडल प्राप्त किया था सेवनटीन किंग्स कप के दौरान सुपर सीरीज द फर्स्ट टाइम सेपर टाकरा फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया हैव ऑर्गेनाइज वर्ल्ड सुपर सीरीज सेपर टाकरा चैंपियनशिप at new delhi in the month of august 2013 indian men team got bronze medal after the uh, during the asian games 9th asian games 1982 jo ki ek exhibition match wahan pe rahe the international level pe uske baad indian sapak takra federation of uh, indian sapak takra jo federation hai hamari unhone uske baad first koi international tournament uh, organize kiya tha jo ki world super series championship thi जो 2013 में आयोजित की गई थी न्यू दिल्ली के अंदर उसमें आप देख सकते हैं प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के अंदर दातो अब्दुल हलीम बिन कादिर एंड श्री योगिंदर सिंह दहिया जी सेक्रेटरी जनरल फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर एस आर प्रेमराज जी और साथ में साथ आप देख सकते हैं साइड में जो कि भारतीय टीम आफ्टर मैच जीतने के बाद अभी वादन करती हुई इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड कप सेपेट टाकरा फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया आल्सो ऑर्गेनाइज स्टाफ वर्ल्ड कप हेल्ड एट हैदराबाद जो कि दो से पांच नवंबर 2017 को स्टाफ वर्ल्ड कप हुआ था हैदराबाद में ये भी हमारे लिए एक माइल स्टोन था हमारे इंडियन सेपेट टाकरा फेडरेशन के लिए क्योंकि फर्स्ट टाइम स्टाफ वर्ल्ड कप ऑर्गेनाइज किया था हैदराबाद में यहाँ पर भी भारतीय टीम का बहुत अच्छा प्रदर्शन रहा था और भारत ने यहाँ पर ब्रॉन्ज मेडल मैन टीम ने रेगो इवेंट में प्राप्त किया था आप पिक्स में देख सकते हैं भारतीय टीम और भारतीय टीम के कोच इसमें नजर आ रहे हैं नेक्स्ट है हमारा एशियन गेम्स एशियन गेम्स फर्स्ट टाइम जो है एशियन गेम्स फर्स्ट टाइम इंडियन सेपक टाकरा टीम बोथ मेन एंड वुमेन पार्टिसिपेटेड इन फिफ्टीन एशियन गेम्स एट दोहा 2006 फर्स्ट टाइम जो इंडियन टीम का पार्टिसिपेशन रहा था ड्यूरिंग द फिफ्टीन एशियन गेम्स 2006 में आफ्टर द इलेवेंथ एशियन गेम्स जो कि चाइना चाइना में थे उसके बाद भारत ने पहली बार जो पार्टिसिपेट किया था फिफ्टीन एशियन गेम्स टू में सेकेंडली जो कि गोंगजो चाइना में होते 2010 सिक्सटीन एशियन गेम्स थर्डली एट द इंचन साउथ कोरिया सेवनटीन एशियन गेम्स 2014 और फोर्थली इंडियन टीम पार्टिसिपेटेड इन 2018 एशियन गेम्स जकार्ता पालमबैंग इंडोनेशिया एट एंड मैन एंड वुमेन दोनों ने ही महिला और पुरुष वर्ग में पार्टिसिपेट किया था जहां पर भारतीय सपेक टाकरा टीम ने पहली बार एशियन गेम्स में कोई मेडल प्राप्त किया था जो कि वो ब्रॉन्ज मेडल था तो आप जैसा कि पिक में देख सकते हैं मेडल जीतने के बाद भारतीय टीम के जो सदस्य हैं मेन टीम के टीम इवेंट के मैं आपको उनके नाम मेंशन कर सकता हूँ डब्ल्यू हेनरी सिंह आप स्क्रॉल देख रहे होंगे हरीश कुमार संजय निकेन सिंह ललित कुमार लेट ललित कुमार जो अभी हमारे बीच नहीं है सैताराम ज्योतिन सिंह जितेश्वर मैलम मांगमांगा संदीप कुमार धीरज एंड आकाश एंड साथ में हमारे सेक्रेटरी जनरल जो कि टीम मैनेजर थे उस समय एंड कोच श्री बी शर्मा एंड माई सेल्फ हेमराज नेक्स्ट ये एक हमारे पास हिस्टोरिक पिक है हमारे पास प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी वेलकम टू द इंडियन सेपेक टाकरा टीम ऑफिशियल एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ सेपेक टाकरा फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर एस आर प्रेमराज इसमें आप पिक्चर में देख सकते हैं uh, हमारे ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी uh, जिन्होंने मेडल जब जीतने के बाद आए थे तो फ्लेसिटेटेड किया था वेलकम किया था सभी टीम का सभी टीम के ऑफिशियल्स का और जो टीम 
विनिंग टीम थे जिन जिन फेडरेशन के जो प्लेयर्स ने मेडल विन किए थे एशियन गेम्स में 2018 में उन्हीं सभी के गेम्स के प्रेसिडेंट जिसमें अभी आप देख सकते हैं जो सपेक्ट टकरा फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया के हमारे जो प्रेसिडेंट हैं डॉक्टर एस आर प्रेमराज जी भी दिखाई दे रहे हैं 